Right, so we're going to make a rattle out of uh, reeds or rushes. I don't know what you call them. But I've collected five and I've taken the outer skin off the ends of them. It just makes it easier to tie a knot. So I always find this bit is the nerve wracking bit. So I like to kind of just push them a little. To encourage them to bend because you want to tie a knot in the very end of them. And this is the moment of truth. So get them to bend. I shall, I shall persevere. It's not looking, it's cold. <laughs> Told you this was the hard bit. The easy bit is actually making the basket. stage they could easily snap when you're trying to pull it tight so I'm just going to coax them through and as long as you've got some semblance of a knot and they've not snapped you can start working because the knot's actually going to be inside the basket so try to push it as far as you can to the end no if you're not facing you, arrange your reeds or rushes into a five-pointed star. Take this reed and pass it over to Trying to keep the five-pointed star. Take that reed, pass it over to So literally, I'm taking the reed that I've just worked with and passing it over to. Don't worry about it seeming messy and sloppy at this stage. So this is the reed that I've just passed over. I want to pass it over to. Again, oh, fiddly, but pass it over to. You will start to notice a pattern emerging you continue to pass over to. You work with the last one that you passed over, pass over to and turn it. Try to keep it tight at this point and turn and turn and turn. You see the shape of the basket starting to emerge this point you really hope that you've got the best reeds because you don't want any of them snapping. The best time of year to do this is probably around February, the time that's famous for making bridges crosses out of these. So I don't know if you can see but there's a definite square shape and a basket forming as I work with the one that I just passed over and pass it over to. At this stage you'll start to see a lovely, lovely spiral shaped basket is starting to emerge from your work. So press on, press on and really hope that they don't break, that you pick some good ones.
And if you continue doing that, here you see, you'll end up with something that looks like this. So I'm going to continue working this one. So that's where I've just passed over to. That's the one I want to work with. Pass over to. Continue just doing that and it will start to form this kind of, it'll just turn into a narrower shape naturally. And we'll just keep passing over to. Um, passing over to. And as you get to where you want to start to end your piece of work, you're going to want to fill this hole in. Can you see this hole's getting smaller and smaller as we work round it? So I think this is a probably a good point to finish off. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just break the ends off all of my reeds. Sorry, my fingers are frozen at the moment. Not working very well. Oops. I'll pull it back down in a minute. Right, so this is where you want to start to poke your end bits into the bottom. As so. And again, hoping that none of them break. A little stick or something is always helpful at this point. A little slim stick to help poke them through. But you can see what I'm doing. I'm just poking the end bits through the hole. And if you were to get a stick, let's see if there are any sticks around the place. Nothing. <laughs> there's any sticks around the place. Imagine there was a stick. I would be poking this through that hole with the stick. Sometimes the bend and there you go. And that's your end result. Thanks for listening. This has been Sandra and Eamon. <laughs> I'm in the mighty Ross. <laughs>